Today we are covering the gameplay of a challenger level Briar player that managed to hit diamond one with an over 80% win rate. And in today's video, we're going to be covering a game that was played in Masters ELO because this guy is absolutely phenomenal at the game. We're going to skip through the buying phase here because, of course, it is very uneventful and our player actually did not connect until about 30 seconds in anyways. But as we can see from the very start, pathing is going towards the top side of the map. Now, there's going to be a reason for this. And we're going to be seeing why that is very shortly in this game. We can see the enemy team is setting up here at blue buff Nocturne, which is a very standard start for Nocturne. And now we can see Briar is walking towards red buff at about the 50 second mark. Now, why is that he is going to the uh, blue buff and rotating over to the red buff? Well, he just wants to be active in the event of an invade. And he wants to have information on the blue side to know whether or not that is going to be happening uh, at the start of the game here. Now, of course, with Briar as an ability, you always want to be leveling up your W first. We can see he has yet to actually upgrade any ability, though, just in case of an invade. Maybe he wants to start with his E to get some extra survivability and knock people back. But we can see he's most likely going to be leveling up here shortly. And there he goes, supposed to level into his W first. And he does not use his W right away. Now, this is a mistake that I see a lot of Briar players make, is they use their W as soon as the camp spawns. You actually want to allow your bot lane to get the buff much lower before you use your W, because it does have the good old execute damage. And you can see here that he gets really good timing, and then he's able to have his W back again for the second cast. So that he can go ahead and take his next camp here of course taking his e level two and only using it towards the very end of the clear there to get the health back and also just to kill all of the small krugs which take a lot of auto attacks for briar now we're now going to be going ahead and going to raptors of course you can see he autos just one of those small camps to clump them all together and then he uses his w hitting everything all at the same time finishing off the camp with his e there um, of course, using all of those cooldowns. Now, instead of leveling up your Q here, guys, which once again is a huge mistake, I see a ton of Briar players make, you put a second level into a Blood Frenzy, your W, okay? Do not be putting multiple levels into your Q or anything like that early. Put a second level into your W just so you can clear the last three clamps here much faster. You want to do a full clear on Briar. Your speed is very quick and taking your W will help you do it faster than if you take your Q. Now we're going to take that blast cone so that the enemy cannot do that in case of an invade. And we're going to go ahead and take our wonderful blue buff here. Now for this part of the game, I'm going to go just on blue vision. So we're seeing things from Briar's perspective here. We can see that Darius is very far extended in the top lane and Briar is now posturing towards that in case Nocturne does go up and gank to get the kill. But, of course, the timing was just barely off, so Nocturne does pick up that kill for free. And, well, I guess not for free, it was a one-for-one one overall, but we are going to be going ahead and taking our Gromp here. Of course, using our W right away, and saving our Smite for the Scuttle Crab, guys. Very important. Briar wins these early game fights very aggressively, so you want to have... Be, you want to be contesting that Scuttle Crab pretty much against any matchup that you're against. And you want to save your smite for that so that you can win these fights very easily. Now, because Nocturne is not here, we're not using the smite. Very simple. But we can see Fiora is overextended. So we're instantly going to go ahead and go for that gank. We do have vision on Nocturne on red buff. So we know he's not going to be here for the counter gank. And we can see this is just a free kill. Going to use the stun here in a second and the execute. And that is indeed a free, free, free kill for the Briar. Now, we want to go ahead and get the bottom scuttle crab here. It's... We do know that Nocturne was just on red buff and he just did hit the scrying orb to get vision of Briar. So we can use that and just go straight down to the bottom scuttle crap or go for a bottom lane gank. One of the two, both will be working here. Um, now we can see that Briar is going to be pathing towards uh, Krugs. Now there's two options. Um, it is possible that at this time Nocturne has taken scuttle crap because we do know where his position was. Um, or, you know, we can go for the Krugs here. Those are the two options here. We also see that bot lane is pretty far extended and they are low. So we can look for Krugs into a bot lane gank. The only concern there is it is possible that Nocturne will counter gank that because we know he will be on the bot side of the map. So with that in mind, it's likely that Briar is going to go for this gank anyways, just because they are very far extended and very low as well. And we can see here that we have flash. So this is a free kill. 
we just take that absolutely for free and then we're not going to be able to chase the set it down which is completely fine so now what we're going to do is we're going to check if nocturne took the scuttle crab if he did then we're going to go ahead and just um move away but he did not take it so we're going to allow ourselves to get that and then also potentially look for a gank in the mid lane here because vegar is very far extended and we can stun him and combo him out with yon but because he's playing back we're just going to go ahead and counter jungle instead at this point in the game you want to go ahead and counter jungle as much as you possibly can because briar is just at such a strong point that basically nobody can fight you in the one-on-one -on -one. and if anyone does see you well a pretty free kill we can see caitlin is trying to harass briar here as much as he can um but uh to no avail we're just gonna go back to our jungle now and farm up and just out maneuver the nocturne around the map and hit level six before he does hopefully so three levels in the w here we are level five we just need to clear about two more camps after the raptors here and we will be level six but now we see that their bot lane is actually playing very far up again so we could potentially look for something here. We know that this is not warded. We did have this that's this swept out, which is good for us. And we can look for a gank here in the bottom lane. So Briar is once again just going to look for some crowd control from Brand and Swain, which is a great bot lane to gank, by the way. And we're just going to wait for anything to land. But we can see it looks like they're not landing anything here, unfortunately. So it's going to be kind of a waste of time so far. This is probably the worst uh, macro that we've seen from the Bimbo Briar so far this game. Okay, but we do land a W there. And then they make it out. Still just, just hugging this wall here. We do have Yone coming down now. So now we're, we can actually see something happen there. We hop over the wall, get a beautiful stun. Now the Yone is going to be able to clean this up. No problem. Gets a double alt. And this bot lane is just 100% dead here. And now we can look for Dragon. We want to get these objectives the moment we get advantages across the map. Now, Doctor, if he's a good player, he is definitely going to look for a counter jungle and a gank top. We can see the gank top is indeed coming in, knowing that they're going to be taking Dragon here. So if Doctor is a strong player, he will now look to counter jungle at the Gromp because Darius is actually posturing towards us. Now we can see that he's actually aware of this, a smart top lane player as well. And we can see, look at this. Look, this is just a macro you expect at a top level of gameplay. But then we see Vagar is also on top of his game here. And he knows that as well. So he's going to counter jungle. And Nocturne's going to take this Gromp. Um, and Yon will try to say something about this, but it's unlikely he can do anything with Vagar there ghosting around. So yeah, very smart play um, by all players there. I mean, Darius... Did overextend a little bit. He should have known mid lane was missing, that that was going to be a risky play. But it looks like we got a game on our hands so far. But with the Briar being this fed, it's looking like it's definitely going to be on our side. Really great ult here. Going on the Vagar. That Vagar is just 100 to 0 if we get to execute. Oh, yes. Okay. So just barely lives there, unfortunately. Unfortunate off the passive he lived with such a little amount of hp but that does happen so now we're just going to look to continue clearing and getting objectives Harold is indeed up here we know that nocturne will not be able to contest this with vagar being back and having both mid and top being pushed in right now so this is just once again a really great macro decision by bimbo briar here um and we're looking top right now we can see that fiora it just does not have prio at all um, Darius is winning that despite all of the ganks and pressure that Nocturne has brought to the top lane. So after we take the, uh, the Rift Herald here, we can actually look to get a uh, blue buff. Um, just because they have vision on us, we don't want to be invading here because Vagar is going to be right here coming back. Yon's going to be back in base. So we don't want to invade there. That's just a bad invading time, even though top does have prio. Um, we're just instead going to play the safe route because we are sitting on a lot of gold here. And we're going to look to take blue buff followed by wolves. And then we can look to do a full clear towards the bot side of the jungle, even taking Raptors and Krugs, and then look for a reset right after, because um, Briar is going to be sitting on a few K here, and we really want to be spending that money for sure. Getting the Enhanced Recall in now, and we're just going to get some good old items. We can see that uh, we are just doing phenomenal this game. We have a Stride Breaker completed now, 69 farm, we're ahead of the Nocturne. Um, we have a shutdown. We're doing really good work here. Um, now, alt is coming up soon, so we can look for a play on the bot lane with that alt. Um, we're just going to wait for that cooldown. It's up in 10 seconds. So 
that's when we can look for that we're going to take out the krugs here and if they stay we kill them and if not oh well but we do see they are indeed staying so this is going to be looking like a free double kill with the alt being up in a second here where you've seen he's already posturing towards that he shoots the ultimate out lands on the vagar we have the enhanced frenzy damage here and that's going to be a free double kill there's no way senna lives this um we can see that he's actually gifting this over to the swain which is good stuff so that is that is a good thing to do as a jungler to get your lanes ahead as well and now we can see that caitlin is very low and overextending but it looks like um she is gonna die to yon but nocturne is gonna be tower diving for this so that's gonna be a free kill and that is a lot of gold to be had right here we most likely can chase this down with flash there it is we get the stride breaker in and the execute was a little premature on the w but i think we can still chase this guy down yeah we do get him so great stuff now we can look to counter jungle whatever's up in nocturne's jungle um looks like there's nothing here but top lane tower is going to be decently low and we do have herald so we can look to drop that over the wall here and just get a couple more plates uh snowball the darius who's already gotten good prio and what well, we can see the fiora just overextended here so that's going to be a pretty easy just to push her out of lane unfortunately oh <laughs> Vagar stutter steps and walks too far once again and that's gonna be a free kill if we use execute at the right time good stuff and now fiora cannot stay if she does she will most likely die but nocturne could also be positioning towards the top side so that's something we have to be wary about here nocturne coming in and potentially counter ganking this because Darius is low fiora does have more health than the nocturne and we do see nocturne now so nocturne is going in here but nocturne cannot win this fight on briar assuming she uses the e correctly here um and we can see unfortunately the parry does come in if he, she did get the double alt into the wall there the double e into the wall there rather that would have been a massive stun and that would have been a one fight for darius and briar but parry is just a really strong ability and it does counter there so we can now see that bot lane is very extended um and briar is most likely going to be looking for that Where's the bot lane? Uh, we can see we got plated steel caps because their team is very reliant on auto attacks, guys. So you want to be making sure you're itemizing correctly. And then we get a Kindle gem because ability haste is an amazing stat on Briar. Most likely going to be going for the Black Cleaver second here. And we can see the bot lane pushing up. Nocturne ulting into the mid lane here. We're going to look to counter gank that as soon as we possibly can um walking over yon is getting good damage in here he actually just wins the one versus one okay great stuff there by yon very well played i did not expect him to win that but it is yon after all that, that is what happens but now we can see bot lane is actually um pretty far up it looks like th these guys can actually kill caitlin themselves so instead of ganking that briar is just going to look to go ahead and actually take the dragon and they do indeed get that so now we're just going to go ahead and take the dragon of course Pretty much taking these dragons on spawn, taking advantage of the fact that Nocturne did die here. The dragon is a global buff to your team. It's always going to be very worthwhile to get. And now we just hop over this wall and we're going to go ahead and take our Krugs, red buff, and of course, Raptors and the rest of the clear. Because everything is spawning in a linear path. Now this is something that all high level junglers will do, guys. Once you get to like Emerald, essentially, you're going to start seeing players always take their camps in a linear path. You know, you want to... Do it that way so that they spawn in the same order so you're always walking in a straight path and you're not like going from one side of your jungle to the other so you would go go like krugs raptors wolves gromp or gromp wolves raptors krugs like that and we can see he always is on top of his clear pathing in that regard um so great work here from our jungler so many little gems to learn from our guy here okay now we're going ahead and we're taking the wolves Gonna be looking for ganks um potentially yora if she overextends could be a kill we do have alt now so this alt can be used globally we gotta remember that yon's looking for a kill here on nocturne and the alt is coming in and that is an across the map ultimate he's standing on the vagar stun but he's gonna die anyways so it doesn't matter we have our enhanced um frenzy and the passive of course and red buff so that is gonna be a free kill a Fiora trying to help, but overall just uh, griefing and uh, Vagar walks a little bit too far up and dies as well. And this is just the snowball potential of Briar. 
once you're ahead you are unstoppable so now we're gonna look to go ahead and get the next herald which is spawning very soon and also of course get the crab here um all at once because yeah briar is one of those champions where herald is just so efficient because you really want to snowball your lead you want to get tower plates and objectives to get that gold lead and get control of the map because the more open the map is the more you can just chase people down and catch them out right you have your ultimate you have stride breaker you have your w you just want to catch people out as much as possible it does look like yon's not gonna be able to get out of this one here nocturne picks up the kill for free so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, finish off the herald and most likely take blue buff and then reset and get a really nice buy-in because yeah we're sitting on a good stack of gold right now get our black cleaver completed so we can shred through um nocturne and his plated steel caps and then we can look to get potentially some more damage items after that blade of the ring king is a solid option in games like this where there's a lot of people you want to be just sparring with constantly um, we can see Nocturne is actually here. We know that he's on vision, but mid lane is looking a little bit more juicy. We've got squishier targets here, and that is an alt that is landed, and that is going to be a potential one shot on the Senna here. Uh, just barely. There is, there is, there is a flash. Okay. And now we can go ahead and just run everyone down here. So we can see our W is on cooldown. We're able to hop the wall here, but unfortunately nocturne does have flash so it's up to our team now to do the rest of the work here and they do indeed clean it up so good work here from brand and um and our swain here to make that trade worthwhile unfortunately our darius did die and we're gonna see if fiora can pick this up here so far uh yeah it looks like she's gonna get that for free and brand's gonna live so dragon's not up which is good we do have our black cleaver now which is fantastic and we can just look to continue hitting those ultimates, okay? This ultimate is going to be up shortly. It's going to be up for the next dragon fight. And we do have Herald. So we're going to look to place that Herald. Get some damage done on some towers. While dragon is most likely going to be spawning. That's going to be the ideal time. So the team has to deal with the Herald. And they can't contest the objective. Not that they would probably win that fight anyways. But, you know, it's the way she goes. You can see Fiora is playing up here, and we're going to chase her down, no problem. Fiora does not parry. Good. Oh, good parry. I didn't know the interaction worked like that. You learn something new every single day. And we do get the chase down there, no problems. It's pretty much impossible to escape from Briar at this stage of the game once you have this much ability haste and your W and Q are on the cooldown that they're on. You just want to use that to your advantage and chase anyone that's overextended. <clears throat> like that Fiora there. And just pick up the free kills while you can get them. Alrighty. Nice little Herald drop there. We see Dragon is spawning soon. Mid lane did get caught out there. Brand did get caught out there. But we're just going to look to go ahead and get some more picks for ourselves here. Unfortunately, we, we are spotted out. But we can still look for this. This is, this, is a, this is an overextended Senna. She had vision too. She had no excuse. No excuse to die there. And now that's absolutely just a free dragon. And this is a mountain soul, which is actually very strong for the team that we have here. Between Briar and Darius, they're going to make good use of that for sure. Yon also will with his Hallbreaker. He's going to be split pushing quite a bit. And it looks like Yon's going to win this fight with the Fiora, who is pretty much just turbo feeding now. This is master tier games, guys. If players are playing like this in masters, you guys can carry silver, gold, bronze, whatever rank you guys are in. All right, there it is. Dragon is down, and we're going to look to hop this wall and just do a full clear of our jungle once again. Our clear is just so fast now that we can just look to absolutely decimate these camps with our W. Um, and, of course, get all the gold we can. And I want to mention... That he this player actually goes red smite okay on briar very important to note guys this is primal smite right not green smite this is red smite now we do have alt and their mid lane is playing pretty aggressive here we can look for this here and we can see he's looking now he's looking now this is this is just how you have to play with briar you have to have this awareness and that is a really nice alt he does get the assist there for the reveal and we're gonna be looking just to kill this doctor now he's very extended 
We have advantage. We're going to go ahead and just do as much damage as we can. Using the E to negate as much damage as possible. Hopping over the wall here. Waiting for Darius to go ahead and get in. And Darius is going to get a free kill in the Nocturne. Followed by that. No problems. And we're going to finish off the last kill here with the Vagar. And of course... This is instant Baron, right? Instant Baron. As a jungler, you guys need to do this. We got three picks. Jungler's dead. Baron, 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 Baron. The team sees that. What do they do? They forfeit. And that is a victory. And that is how you carry games as Briar, guys. That is it. This is how the best players do it. The highest win rate players. Congratulations to this guy for making it happen. Highest win rate Briar to ever hit Diamond 1 as fast as he did. And also, one of the absolute best players at a challenger level. This guy's insane. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe to help me out. And for more jungle content, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.